Apparently my I'm checking you out face is also my I'm gonna beat the shit out of you face. This weekend while I was bar hopping for St. Patrick's Day, my friend and I were checking out this very, very attractive model person. Later in the evening, my friend finally had the guts to go and talk to him, and he proceeded to tell her a story about how he thought she was very attractive but was afraid to come talk to her because her boyfriend was giving her evil looks. Me being the boyfriend, and apparently I was shooting him evil looks. Things like, and, 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 I mean, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> If anybody wants to order anything online, my credit card number is 545493-0402247504 and you could, you could start charging along with the people in Lovejoy, Georgia who decided to charge $400 on my credit card from Walmart. I called the bank and they told me that the charges were from Walmart and in Georgia and my response was, I don't shop at Walmart. Welcome to episode five of my weekly bitch. Is it five already? It is five. We've made it to five episodes and not been canceled on YouTube. <laughs> um, sorry it took us so long to make this episode. Um, Alex and I spent part of the week in Las Vegas where we had a lot of fun. More or less. Kind of. Not our best trip to Vegas, but not our worst. Not my worst. It wasn't my worst either, but it was, it was okay. Regardless, um, we have no idea what's going on in the world this week because <laughs> we're still recovering from Vegas and it also happened to be St. Patrick's Day, so that delayed our production a little bit. Yeah. Well, you had a St. Patrick's Day. I was working on my I did. This. I had a St. Patrick's Day. I actually, uh, it was really bad, but I happened to, uh, I went out bar hopping for St. Patrick's Day. I started at 3 and I got home at about midnight, but as I was walking home because I decided to walk out, it started pouring rain and hailing, and I was drunk and miserable, and I got to my house, I tried to open my gate, but it had gotten jammed stuck, and I didn't want to wake up my entire family that lives in the house in front of me, and I'm sitting there, like, breaking on the door, like, trying to get it open, and I can't, and I tried to climb over it, and I couldn't, so I just, I just, <laughs> I just, I just remember, like, and I couldn't get into the house at all, because I didn't have my keys, because... I walked and I didn't think ahead and I just kind of sat there in the pouring rain and hail crying because I was like, how am I going to get into my house? And then finally the gate just happened to blow open. And it actually might have been open already. I just couldn't figure out how to get in. But regardless, I made it home. So this week we're going to talk about different people that we saw in Vegas and bitch about them because I don't know if you've ever been to Vegas, but you should go and there's definite people watching. Uh, people who are morbidly obese and dress like they are a size zero. We saw countless women and like who were just so fucking fat, but they wore these dresses that like, no, I don't even think a normal sized person could fit into. And it looked <laughs> like they looked like fucking Sharpay dogs because okay, like, the fat and everything was just rolled. And I, I mean, was like, like, what are you wearing? I'm not the smallest person to ever walk the face of the earth. <laughs> let's be real. But I would never dress like that. You dress for your body type. Yeah, like I... There was one girl in a tutu. Oh my god, it was hideous. And I was drunk, and so I just... <laughs> Words were yelling out all I, the time. I was, yelling, I, I was yelling things at people who I thought were dressing appropriately. Did I yell something at her? I remember the girl in the tutu. Yeah. You were like... She walked like literally two feet from us and went, What the fuck is she wearing? <laughs> Great. Well, now we're gonna get our asses kicked by some fat chicken on two food. <laughs> like muffin top times fifty. Like it was like. Lots it was of like they times. had a rubber band around their stomach. All of their stomachs, multiple stomachs, but it was just. Oh. There were also these really hilarious older women, um, who were who also dressed like they're sixteen. Yeah, and um, and their necks look like a vagina. <laughs> and they're like, well, because there's the people who like take it to like one extreme, and there's people who take it to the other, like that are walking around in like sweatpants. And my favorite are like the white trash rednecks. They're walking around with their shotguns, shooting homosexuals. <laughs> Vegas is pretty trashy. It is pretty really trashy. People who bitch about losing money in Vegas, even though it happens to everybody. I know I... we all bitch about it, but like. Okay, you have a, a 10 minute grace period and then get over it. Yeah, like I don't understand, like you're going to Vegas where you gamble, club, and drink, all of which costs an excessive amount of money. And so I hate people that are like, why are we here in Vegas? Why are we going to this place? Why are we spending money? I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Why did you go to Vegas if you thought that you were gonna win $10,000? Because usually you'll lose money. And it doesn't have to do with gambling. I mean, says, like- Says the guy who was like, I'm gonna go win the Audi. <laughs> <laughs> 
I did. I literally sat at a penny slot machine for like a good two hours to try to win the the Audi A4. <laughs> I was close once. I just needed one more bar. <laughs> Another thing that really bothers us about Vegas is it's so sexist. Like unbelievably sexist. Yeah, and don't go if the ratio of, of girls to guys is, is lesser is less, right? Yeah, you need more girls, girls than guys. But yeah, but no, we were trying to get into this one club and fucking I was flirting with the guy kind of ish. Granted, I'm there, I'm wearing like a bright pink shirt. And we're standing there and the guy's like, well, I can't put you on the list unless there's a bigger guy to girl ratio. And I was like, that's not gonna happen. I was like, I suck dick. Like, I'm here with mainly guys. And he just was like, right? I mean like, but I don't understand like the point of having girls in the club is to get guys to come to the club so it's more lucrative. But if you don't want the guys into the club and it's all ugly girls, then what's your thought process? Really, you should just let a bunch of gay guys in because straight girls love gay guys and then everyone's happy. Yeah, and they all just want to get drunk, so. Exactly, so we all share the same benefits. Drunk and hot boys. Although, I'm still shocked. Except all the hot boys would be gay. Well, they let the gay guys in and the girls and then they let, like, the USC jocks in. Because, um, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, for you. Apparently that face means <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Bro, you just, one oak sucked. Yeah, one oak does suck. If you ever have the chance to go to one oak, don't. don't. It's the worst. And it used to be Jet. Jet, which sucked too, but now now it's even worse. If you do go to Vegas, the best clubs you can go to are Marquee, Marquee Club, and XS. XS. Yeah. But XS is now closed on Tuesdays, yes. in case you were wondering. And Marquee Mondays is the best night to go to Marquee Club. Yes. Words of wisdom from us. Yes.